Guys, today we are talking about one of my favourite topics, and in my opinion, the holy grail of financial planning. We're talking about passive income. How you can make money without leaving the comfort of your own bed. Hello guys, it's Brad here from The Guided Investor, and today I'm going over five things that you can do to start generating passive income. Now, before we jump into the video, please make sure that you hit the like button if you like this video and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content. So to kick things off, what is passive income? Passive income is money which comes in consistently without you having to do any work. Now, maybe you worked your ass off to set up that passive income stream, but to be truly passive, it should, moving forward, require little to no exertion or input from you. Anyone can start creating passive income streams no matter what stage of life you're at. And in my opinion, everyone should be working on this. Your goal should be to grind it out year on year until the passive income you're generating is enough to replace your own earned income. And at that point, you've really achieved financial freedom because at that point, work becomes a choice and not an obligation. So let's get started on my five ways to build passive income. I'm gonna start off by going over some ways that you can use your earned money to generate passive income. And then later on, I'm gonna look at some more creative ways where you can put in some work to help build passive income sources. So the first one is of course, bank interest. Now most people are already doing this one. It's simply taking cash, putting it into a bank account, and the bank is gonna give you interest on that money. Now bank interest is a very low risk, low return way of generating passive income. If you had $1,000 to invest and you put it in a bank account, then by the end of the year, you're probably gonna generate enough income to buy a bag of lollipops. Mmm, this is so yummy, I wish it was bigger. I know, right? I want bigger candy. Whoa! Whoa what's happening? So big! Why is it so big? The second one is bonds. Bonds are a step up the risk ladder from bank accounts. When you buy a bond, you're essentially lending your money out to either a company or the government, and in return, they're gonna give you a coupon, which is basically the same as interest. Now, it is slightly more risky than putting your money in a bank account because you need to make sure that the government or the company that you give the money to has the ability to pay back that money when the bond is due. Now, there are a number of different ways that you, as the investor, can get access to these bonds. And the most diverse and the simplest way to do it is to use an ETF. I'll list here a few of the bond ETFs that I think you should look at. Now, obviously there are a lot of them out there, so make sure you do your research before you jump into any to make sure it suits you. The third option is shares. Now, this is where we start taking on more risk to generate a better passive income. There are thousands of shares that you can invest in worldwide. And here in Australia, we're lucky enough to have some of the best dividend paying shares around. So when you buy a share, you're basically buying ownership of a company. Now when that company makes a profit, part of that profit is often paid out to you, the investor, as a dividend. Now companies are not obligated to pay out profits as dividends. Some companies and a lot of companies choose to keep those profits in-house and use it to invest back into the business to help grow future earnings. So if you're looking to create a passive income source from shares, then make sure you do your research and Pick those shares which actually pay a healthy dividend. Personally, I think the best way to get access to shares is to use either an ETF, an LIC, or an M fund. This is a very easy way to get a lot of diversification to a large number of companies. Once you have your shares, you can continually improve your future passive income by implementing a dividend reinvestment plan. This is where you use the dividend to buy more shares in the company without paying brokerage and often at a discount its current trading value. The fourth one is one that's loved by a lot of Australians and that is property. Now property is a good source of passive income because obviously you can charge rent. Now that rent over the long term often increases so it's an income source that's going to keep up with inflation. Now buying a rental property can be difficult if you're just starting out because it comes with a lot of expenses. However if you think outside the box a little bit then there are other ways that you can generate passive income from property. For instance, if you have a principal residence, maybe you can look at renting out a room of your house, or maybe you can start an Airbnb. If you have an office space and you're running a business, maybe you can look at a sublease kind of arrangement. And even if you don't own a principal residence, you can still get access to property trusts listed on the ASX. And these are often a good way to put a little bit of money into property to diversify your portfolio. 
Now we've covered off a number of ways that you can invest to generate passive income, but how do you generate income if you don't have any money to invest? This is where number five comes in and that is to get creative. This is where you can use your particular skill set to generate a passive income source. For instance, you can write a book, publish some music for creators, you can start a YouTube channel, you can write a blog and generate ad and affiliate revenue. Guys, the possibilities are endless and only limited by your imagination. Now, the hardest part of generating these sources of passive income is that they require a lot of work up front and there's no guarantee that that work's gonna pay off. Often as well, if you don't continue creating new material, your old passive income streams are gonna slowly die off, unless you're Mariah Carey at Christmas time. That song will forever bring her royalties. So don't let a lack of money stop you from creating your taps of passive income. Start getting a little bit creative, start putting in the work, and get cracking. Now it takes years in order to generate enough passive income to replace your own income. But guess what? If you don't start somewhere, then you're never gonna achieve it. So guys, thank you for watching. Go get started on creating your own passive income sources. Subscribe to my channel for future videos and I'll see you in the next one.